sometime later tonight. Neighbors in Jefferson Township have their aerated sewer systems and are gearing up for a fight with the Franklin County Board of Health. The board has ordered them to buy permits for their aerated sewers at a cost of $50 a year. Now, the neighbors say they never needed permits before and aren't going to pay for these. They, $50 is quite unfair, and I think that uh, it should be lowered. And I don't, I, I'd be interested to see what kind of response that uh, the County Board of Health is getting and, and what kind of uh, rate of return of these uh, applications are getting back. I don't think that they're getting very many. Assistant Health Commissioner Howard Sandusky says the $50 fee is needed to finance a state-required inspection program of aerated sewers. He says he feels the $50 fee will stand up to any possible court challenges. Well, tonight the... From Central Ohio's News Center, this is News Watch 4 with Vic Mason and Michelle Galey. Weather with meteorologist Jim Ganahl and sports with Jimmy Crumb. Good evening, everyone. The FBI says a gunman who seized a jetliner in Los Angeles tonight is now demanding $3 million in cash. The hijacker is holding one hostage, a female flight attendant. Here's more on the story from Heidi Shulman. Continental Flight 72 was about to depart for Phoenix when a man wearing a ski mask and armed with a pistol seized the plane, five passengers and two crew members in the first class cabin. The flight crew fled through cockpit windows while coach passengers were led down the plane's back steps. We just were sitting down and the, the uh, airline hostess came up to us very calmly and asked us to get up and leave without touching anything. And we noticed in her eyes that she was about ready to cry, so I, we said, hijacker, and she nodded her head and we got off. After almost two hours at the gate, the plane was towed to a remote area at the end of the airport. FBI agents went on board to negotiate with the hijacker, described as a white male, 40 to 45 years old, with a European accent. While special police teams waited, the hijacker began to release his hostages. There is no explanation how he managed to carry his pistol past airport security. Heidi Schulman, NBC News, Los Angeles. There is more commotion tonight about that $25 permit fee. The Franklin County Board of Health is charging some property owners with aerobic sewer systems. Angela Pace is here with more on that story. Angie? Well, Michelle, hundreds of county residents are angry about the fee, which is part of a sewer inspection program. But one property owner plans to take legal action. 50 homeowners showed up to hear Joe Davis's plans to take the County Board of Health to court if the $25 permit fee isn't revoked. Davis has hired attorney William Cooper to plead his case, and Cooper says that while the Board of Health has the authority to inspect sewer systems, he doesn't think it has the right to charge a permit fee to operate an aerobic system. Prior to this change, they were empowered and had the authority and were supposed to inspect these systems. They still have that power, they still have the right, and that's not the point of the lawsuit. We want them to inspect it, we want to make sure the systems are operating efficiently and correctly. It's just a question that they cannot charge to do what they're supposed to do by statute. Why spend all this money when it would be a lot easier just to mail a check for $25 down to the Board of Health? I don't think they deserve it. Uh, it wouldn't have matter if it had been $10, 10 cents. Uh, I've had my unit in since 1969. And not one time have they inspected in all that time, which they had the right to do. Attorney Cooper says he hopes the county prosecutor's office will revoke the permit fee. If not, he'll file a restraining order to prevent the Board of Health from collecting the fee until he has a chance to take the matter to court. The issue is also being tackled from another angle. State Senator Don Gilmore says he'll introduce emergency legislation in the Ohio General Assembly to prohibit the Board of Health from charging these fees. Attorney William Cooper says Davis's fight will affect all residents with aerobic sewer systems. So he encourages those who are upset about the permit fee to give Davis their moral, financial, or legal support. Michelle? Angie, just how many people are affected by these fees? According to figures from the Franklin County Board of Health, there are about 2,000 to 2,400 residents in Franklin County who have these off-lot aerobic sewer systems, and they'd have to pay the permit fee. Okay, thank you, Angie. Nearly a... Commission, uh, health commissioners, rather, have been proposed to solve that by charging an inspection fee. But a group of county residents are set to challenge their authority to collect that fee, as John Damschroder reports. 
the principle of the matter is that they have no authority to charge for the fee, and we will institute the lawsuit if they insist upon charging a fee for the operation permit. 3,000 Franklin County citizens with an aerobic sewage system recently received notice they would be charged $50 a year for inspection of the system. A protest has arisen over the fee, and the health department is planning to cut the charge to $25. But the people that gathered tonight at the Brown Township Hall plan to file suit if the health department persists in attempting to collect any inspection fee. The state legislature could pass a uh, amended regulation or uh, section and authorize a collection of a fee, but that has not been done here. Cooper says a 1953 Franklin County case determined that the health department can only charge fees authorized by the legislature. But for those that have already paid the inspection fee, he holds little hope of getting money returned. At the Brown Township Hall, John Damschroeder, Action 6 News.